Welcome to the Cathedral of Shadows, where demons gather. My name is Resident Unleashed. Jeez, <coughs> oh, there's some dust on this compendium. Oh, it's been a while since I last opened it. Ah, oh, hmm. Ah, yes, there he is, the guardian to the portal of hell, the demon Cerberus. In Greek mythology, Cerberus, often referred to as the Hound of Hades, is a multi-headed dog that guards the gates of the underworld to prevent the dead from leaving. Cerberus was the offspring of the monsters Echidna and Typhon, and is usually described as having three heads, a serpent for a tail, and snakes protruding from multiple parts of its body. Cerberus is primarily known for his capture by Hercules and one of Hercules' twelve labors. The name Cerberus comes from the Greek Kerberos, meaning spotted. His three heads were thought to represent the past, the present, and the future, while other sources suggest they were symbolic of birth, youth, and old age. The most pointed ability of Cerberus was his look, which was so dreadful that anyone who looked upon him was immediately turned into stone. It was said that Cerberus had razor-sharp teeth and a poisonous bite. The poison that drips onto the ground sprung up as a plant that is known as the wolf's bane. Cerberus' primary role was the watchdog of the Greek underworld and faithful servant to the god Hades. His main haunt was along the banks of the river Styx, a river forming the boundary between earth and the underworld. He guarded the gates of Hades and prevented the dead from escaping and the living from entering without his master's permission. Throughout the Shin Megami Tensei franchise, Cerberus is commonly referred to as a guard dog and a loyal servant of Hades. This can be drawn from demon compendium entries such as Origin, Greece, the guard dog of the gates to Tartarus. It has three heads and a snake's tail, and is the son of Echidna and Typhon, god of storms. It viciously attacks both the living who near the gates and the dead who try to escape. The feared guard dog of Hades in Greek mythology. His parents were the giants Typhon and Echidna. He is the brother of Orthrus, the hound of hell in Greek mythology. Its name means demon of the pit. It is known as the loyal servant of Hades, king of the underworld. Cerberus was born from the union of the half serpent Echidna and the storm giant Typhon. The two headed beast Orthrus is its brother. Cerberus appears as a three-headed dog with snakes all over its body and a dragon's tail. The three heads are said to represent the past, the present, and the times yet to come. Cerberus guards the gates of the underworld, the realm of the dead, welcoming souls of the dead from the outside world, but ferociously attacking all those who attempt to leave. It was traditional in ancient Greece to place a copper coin and a honey cake in coffins. This was so that the departed soul could pay Charon, the boatman of the river, Styx to ferry them across the river and feed Cerberus, who favoured sweets. The guardian hound of Hades in Greek mythology. Traditionally, it has three heads and a snake's tail. It is the offspring of Typhon, the giant of the wind, and Echidna, the mother of monsters. Cerberus' first appearance in the series was as a Kemi Nakajima's demon familiar in Digital Devil Story Megami Tensei. Following this, Cerberus then went on to being a staple of the Megami Tensei series, being featured as a demon in almost every single title. In most games, Cerberus can be obtained by a fusion or negotiation, as he is usually a common demon, but it also has some special roles in a few games such as In Megami Tensei 2, Cerberus may be encountered and welcomed into the protagonist's party via an optional side quest, which entails gaining access to the intelligence building, by which the protagonist's party is able to re-enter the Devil Busters video game. He is found on the first floor of the Tower Daedalus, and must be recruited before fighting Nidhogger. When recruited, he states he has been waiting for the protagonist for more than a century. In the SNES version of Megami Tensei, if Cerberus is in the protagonist's stock, a man from the northern central area of Valhalla will ask the party if they would like to enter Hell. The area is a teleport maze where the comp cannot be used, However, the Mapara spell still works. At the end of the dungeon, when the protagonist leaves, Cerberus stays behind to prevent the dead from escaping. In Shin Megami Tensei, after having his mother killed and eaten by a demon, the protagonist can choose to add his dog Pascal into his party. In normal circumstances, Pascal serves as a low-level ally. However, when fused with a demon in the Cathedral of Shadows, he transforms into the high-level demon Cerberus. 
In Tokyo Revelation, Cerberus is summoned by Gagison in order to kill Kojiro, who poses a threat to Gagison's plans. Although he succeeds in killing Kojiro's dog Patra, he is stopped from finishing Kojiro thanks to a monk. The monk then defeats Cerberus and gives him an ultimatum. Protect Kojiro or die. Choosing the former, he betrays Gagison and takes the form of Patra while guarding him. After Osei is summoned, he becomes the steed of Kojiro. After the human incarnates into his true form, Masakuro. In Shin Megami Tensei 2, Cerberus first joins Aleph on the first quest Madame gives him. Find and bring back Hanada. After this quest, he leaves the party. Later, when Valhalla is swallowed by a Barden, he will be found at the former entrance to the city from the underground passageway. He joins Aleph's party shortly after meeting him for the second time. In Shin Megami Tensei If, at the beginning of the game, a broken floppy disk can be found on the ground of the second floor of Karukozaka High School. The disk can then be taken to Katsuhiko Sato, the president of the school's computer club, who will attempt to fix it, releasing the Cerberus that was stored inside once the protagonist has completed the World of Sloth. Katsuhiko then runs away from the demon and asks the protagonist to help. Cerberus, angry at being trapped inside the disc, demands that the protagonist let him pass. If they refuse, Cerberus will start a fight right there. If they comply, Cerberus will go, but then can be found later in the storage room on the first floor. After being defeated, he'll recognize the strength of the protagonist and join the party despite the massive difference of levels. In Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne, Cerberus first appears at the burial chamber in the Amala Labyrinth's first Kalpa, where he will challenge the Demi Fiend to prove his worth as a demon by quickly vanquishing once more those that he has killed in the Vortex world using the Black Visor. After meeting all the requirements and starting a new cycle, meeting with Cerberus again in the same location will make him take the Demi Fiend to his master's resting place instead at the Tomb of Viomai in the hidden 666th floor, where he will receive an extra press turn. In Shin Megami Tensei Imagine, Cerberus is among the first demons to contract with the player, as an injured demon that requests Snake Man to allow it to assist the player. This Cerberus is the former demon partner of D.B. Kuyore, the player's mentor from this tutorial, and during the story he'll need to be returned to Snake Man. Once reaching level 30, a player regains the Cerberus as a stronger variation. Cerberus can be encountered within the gold level instance of the Suganami Tunnels and appears regularly as a boss within the main storyline, and as the final boss in the Suganami Tunnels, unknown plate boss rush. In the later acts, Cerberus is an intermediary for the leader of Protopia, Madam Justice, in giving story missions until a player has fully committed to the neutral route of the final acts. Within the neutral route, he is the boss players must defeat to gain access to the Ring of Human Being, necessary to access the fight with Seth in Act 20. In Persona 3, Cerberus appears as Koromaru's initial persona. It is a fire and darkness elemental persona and differs from the usual appearance as a black three-headed hound resembling a Doberman. In Persona 5, Cerberus is summoned by Goro Akechi to face the Phantom Thieves in Shido's Palace. In Demi Kid's light and dark version, Cerberus is known as Nex. He has the power Oddsbreaker, which lets him go for the win when the chips are down. Nex is obtained by beating Setsuna Kai in Battlenet. In Digital Devil Saga Avatar Tuner, Cerberus is the Atama Avatar Kalupa, the leader of the wolves. He serves as the boss fight in Samsara Waterways. In this title, Cerberus appears as a three-headed eyeless beast. In Devil Survivor 2 The Animation, Cerberus serves as Yamato's main demon. Its status serves as a nod to a scene early in the game where Yamato uses it to dispatch some demons before showing the JP's underground trains to the party. He summoned it at the young age of five, and it has accompanied him ever since. Cerberus' skills in the game mostly consist of fire magic and physical damage. As he appears in a lot of titles, the level he has found is mixed with some games opting to have him low level, while others have him in the middle or even rather high. In some titles, he also has access to skills that aid the party such as Sukujaka, Recalm, Fog Breath, and Bind Voice. Cerberus is commonly depicted throughout the series as a white dog with a lion's mane that has a brown snake-like tail. He also has three heads as opposed to one in some titles. In Digital Devil Story, Cerberus' color scheme is blue and purple. He also has longer ears, longer fangs, and has a bit of natural armor on his body. In Digital Devil Saga, Cerberus has three heads, is black, gray with bits of green, and was presented very angular. He also doesn't possess eyes. In Persona 3, Cerberus is blue and black, has three heads, small wings with chains that attach from there to the necks. 
and has pitchforks for feet. In Demikids, Cerberus is a small purple dog with red hair and red claws. Lastly, Cerberus has also made an appearance in another game. This game is the mobile game Puzzle Dragons. That was the demon history of Cerberus. He has quite an extensive history within the Shin Megami Tensei franchise, and I can only imagine it's going to grow larger with the release of Shin Megami Tensei 5. He has also stayed pretty consistent throughout the franchise. I also have a little showcase of my buddy Cerberus, who sits in my glass shelf, being real cool. With that out of the way, thanks so much for watching everybody. My name is Resin Unleashed, the resident who has to study her own content to unleash it as close to what it was before. And I will catch you all next time.